So today we're gonna to be talking about helmet safety and what type of a helmet you should be looking for for your riding style. Now me coming from a BMX background, mountain bike background, now all things e-bikes and e-moto, there isn't a one-stop shop type of a helmet that I can wear on all of those. I've gambled and I've done that before, but I probably shouldn't be doing that. Lately I've been riding my e-moto with this full face, which we'll talk about here momentarily. But other e-bikes and BMX bikes, I've actually found myself to be riding my half cut more often. Now I've been riding BMX for the better part of 20 years, been riding a triple eight helmet for 15 of those years, and I helped them design this existing certified sweat saver, and it took about three years to do so. We didn't just design it around speed and impact, we also designed it around comfort. This is my go-to when it comes to all things BMX and some light mountain bike riding. A lot of my e-bike videos, you'll see me wearing this helmet because I trust it that much that I'll ride it on my e-bikes. Now is it certified to be able to ride on an e-bike? No, not necessarily. Now it doesn't have any certifications when it comes to MIPS for that. Now they do have helmets that do have MIPS technology that I'm listing here on the website for you to be able to see. Those helmets will be certified for some light road use when it comes to e-bikes. But this one right here seems to be my go-to just because it's so comfortable and with the certified sweat saver liner on there, it just makes it so good when you're riding. There's no sweat dripping in your eyes. I'll link all these in the description below. This isn't a sponsored video by any of these brands, but we will be unboxing a new helmet that Voss Helmets sent me two different helmets to be able to go along with my e-motos. We'll get to that momentarily, but when I'm not riding this and I'm on my traditional e-bikes, there's Xnito. Xnito is a brand that's pretty new and I think it's pretty unique in a way because it has a headlight and a tail light. You can charge this helmet. I mean, I don't think I've actually ever charged it and I've had these helmets now for roughly a year. We'll press the button right now and they still work. I think it's a very, very unique design. You can put it on solid on there. You can do a little, stream effect there really really unique this has um a tightening fastener as well so when you're tightening on your head right there you can make it more snug this is basically just like a one size fits all and you just snug it up to your head this is nice i wouldn't say it's the most comfortable when it comes to sweat but it's really breathable with the vents that are on here um this padding i think could be a bit thicker but this is just my personal opinion a lot of people who ride these helmets really do love them now when going from my bmx and then from this e-bike helmet, um, I'm usually riding my mountain bike, which is a downhill, maybe like a enduro style mountain bike. I'll overlay some footage right here where I'm at Mountain Creek Mountain Bike Park. This is the type of riding I absolutely love to do. And you can't ride a half cut helmet on this type of a course because you will get destroyed if you fall. Now my downhill helmet is a Fox helmet. I don't believe that they make this exact model anymore, but I'll, I'll link the one that's closest to it in the description below. This thing is so light. It's not carbon, it's just a very, very light helmet. Has the MIPS technology built into it. You can see there with the yellow, which will allow your head to be able to move if you were to take a head impact. Now I can't stress this enough. Like I hate seeing people ride all things bikes, whether it's BMX, mountain bikes, e-bikes, especially the e-motos without a helmet on. Your brain is the only thing that you cannot fix. You could fall off your bike, break your arm, set your bone, and get back to riding in six to eight, maybe 10 weeks. But I have friends that have like, extreme brain damage, even with helmets on like this, and I can only imagine when you don't have one on how terrible it can be. So as I said before, this helmet is really breathable and it has really good visibility when it comes to the side vent, front vent. One downside though, I was riding like full speed on my Talaria and a bee, because there's so many of these vents, a bee flew right in, bam, right into the hole, stung me in the head, and it was the worst because I'm traveling like 40 miles per hour and I just couldn't get the helmet off. I had to like swerve over, slam on the brakes and, and rip it off. Um, but it is pretty cool to wear. Uh, you can put on headphones with this. They have little openings here to be able to access that there. It is really breathable. It's super, super light. Uh, the clip on this is really nice too. It's magnetic. So you just slide it on there and it's already on. And then you can just slide it back or forward and it pops off. Pretty nice. I ended up getting some 100% goggles for it too. These are anti-fog ones. Um, they work really well when it comes to downhill mountain biking. Really nice, pretty clear. Uh, they have the options for tearaways, which we'll talk about here momentarily with the Voss helmets. Speaking of that, let's do this unboxing right now. Check out which helmets they sent me and all the different accessories. So a quick reminder, Voss did send me out this package, but they're not sponsoring today's video. Neither is Triple Eight, Xnito, or Fox. So with that being said, these are gonna be my unbiased words and my first impressions of my new DOT certified helmets. This is gonna be a set of goggles, the X1 Pro Moto, which I'm gonna put aside to open up second. This is gonna be the Dual Sport. This is probably gonna be the one I'm wearing the most just because I like the overall look of it. I'm gonna swap back and forth because I do plan on hitting the trails up quite a bit. So when you open up the box, you are greeted with a secondary face shield. Um, this is a clear shield, and you can basically customize these helmets on their website 
and uh, have a secondary shield on there too. This is a nice touch. And inside the box, you're greeted with the helmet and it looks to be some extra accessories here for some ventilation. Now the helmet comes in a nice bag, which I'm stoked on because a lot of helmets don't like to come with quality bags. So when you're going to a restaurant or some location, I just don't feel comfortable setting my helmets down. Ooh, that thing looks so sick. Really sick. It has really good ventilation on it here on the front. Close it, open it up on the top here as well. Nice visor and swapping out that front lens is as easy as unscrewing this screw on this side, this one on this side, and it pops off and you can put on a new one. Now, some really good ventilation will be this front part right here. And another part I really like is the fact that it has a nice little sun visor there, which I haven't taken that off there yet, but um, nice like way to protect your eyes. And I usually wear sunglasses when I'm wearing helmets like this, but I think because this fits me so perfect that this is the way to go. So with that being said, this fits so good. I already have some footage right here I'll overlay on the screen. It just feels really good out on the road. Quality, I feel protected. The wind noise is like next to none. And I'm able to have a microphone kind of built into it. So the microphone that I'm wearing here today, I'm able to put inside this helmet to be able to talk to you guys. And ah oh man, I love it. And the strap itself is more of like a strap that you would find, like a nice in-between for like, I guess a set of roll blades. There are like some little ridging there. And it clicks like that, pull this tab, and it releases. This is a really, really sick helmet. And it's, oh my God, looks awesome. With the DOT certification, it's gonna make me feel way more safe on the road. Uh, I'm probably gonna do some mounting points here for some cameras up on the top. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the one here on the visor because I don't know if it's gonna hit when I do that. I might do a chin mount. I don't know, comment below. Let me know your guys' thoughts. So this is the Dual Sport one, which we'll put over here. And now we're gonna check out the, let's check out the goggles next. These are the 102 goggles. Like I said, I've been riding 100% goggles for a while now. Ooh, packaged really well too. I love that. So I go for like the color shimmer here on the goggles as well as that. I just like that. I like the eye protection. I like to, maybe somebody doesn't know where I'm looking in a way. I, I don't know, I just like the overall look of that. Uh, some really good grip here for the helmet. Nice little sweat liner there. Uh, the area for you to have the tearaways, which should be in that box, which we'll check right now. This is awesome. Open up this helmet. Yep, here's the tearaways, which we'll get to secondary. Let's check out the helmet right now. Comes with a nice bag as well. Ooh. Now this is a nice looking helmet as well. Your stock type of a moto helmet. Oh man, this thing is so good looking. I'm gonna have a hard time swapping which one I wanna ride mostly. Ventilation is really nice on this as well. I don't see any areas where I can close the vents, which isn't necessarily a negative or anything, but it's worth noting. Looks like there's some type of magnet here as well. I'll have to do a little bit more research, but there's some little mounting points it looks like right here. Um, but yeah, let's look at this with the goggles on real quick. Now this is a really nice fit, honestly. Like it, it's just perfectly snug. What I did do is I used like a measuring tape, measured around my head and it is, it is true to size. This is really light as well. I'd say it's slightly heavier than my Fox helmet, but being DOT approved, I, I'm pretty sure I'm okay with that. I like the way this looks. The goggles are very nice. You have a good field of view looking down. See the other goggles that I have, I felt like it blocked that field of view that I had here. So I do have a good field of view looking down and yeah, I'm pretty cool with this one. Let me put on the other one. So yeah, overall, I love the way this one fits. The field of view on this is absolutely perfect. Like with the goggles, you're kind of more narrowed down to about here. But with the field of view here, I'm able to see basically all the way to a 90 on both sides without actually having to turn my head. You can open this up and still see that field of view on both sides. And then I can close this up and have added eye protection from the sun and have double eye protection right there. So yeah, I'm really, really pumped on this one. This one's probably my favorite right now. I want you guys to comment below what helmet you're riding. So last but not least, Voss also sent me out clear eye protection and tearaways, which I'm gonna be using here for a trail video very soon. With that being said, this is my brief overview of both these Voss helmets. I wanna know what you guys think of them in the comments below. I plan on doing a full on review video that should be out in about 30 days to give you guys a good representation of what to expect out of a DOT certified helmet. 
I don't plan on using the DOT certification, but at least I'll be able to give you guys a good representation on what to expect out of ventilation, overall weight, stability, and visibility. So with that being said, let me know what you guys are running in the comments below. If you guys found this video informative, share it with some friends. If you guys like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.